Hello everyone, welcome back for another Creating a Book of Shadows Together video. So we are continuing along with some stones for a minute and I thought why not stick with some of the popular ones? So this is one that I think every beginner witch is going to grab because honestly just about every book, I swear even my own, calls for this stone. So it is Rose Quartz. Rose Quartz is also known as the Heart Stone. I didn't really have any like random like non-magical notes like we've been having where it's like the blank anniversary stone or whatever. Didn't really find that this time. The zodiac associated is Taurus but also Libra. The planet is Venus. The energies are receptive. The number is seven. The elements are earth and sometimes water. The chakras are mostly heart, sometimes throat. The deities are Aphrodite, and the other one, I know I'm going to mispronounce it, it looks like Adonis. I'm butchering names. We're, I'm great at that. <laughs> so anyways, onto the magical properties. Rose Quartz is great for unconditional love, self-love, caring, kindness, romantic love. It restores trust and harmony. It encourages unconditional love, which I will add a little asterisk. Unconditional love does not give you a reason to accept abuse and or to give abuse and things like that. I'm not a huge fan of the word unconditional love. I have conditions. I think conditions and boundaries aren't a bad thing, but I feel like you could easily utilize the stone to help you to enforce your boundaries and to find healthy conditional love that is more encouraging of like, again, not abuse and things like that. This stone also opens and purifies the heart. It is a calming and reassuring stone. It is great in times of grief for like comforting when you're grieving. It dispels negativity. It enhances positive affirmations. I actually have my like morning like meditation beads set. The main stone is in fact rose quartz and I do find it is a really great stone. I have a different set that I used a long time but this one with the rose quartz as the main stone, I personally actually really enjoy using that as my meditation beads. But anyways, back to the list. <laughs> so it also is great for emotional healing. It replaces negative energy with loving energy. It's a great stone to attune with goddess energy or feminine energy. It stimulates love. It opens the heart chakra. It promotes peace, happiness, and fidelity in established relationships. And this last one just made me laugh so hard <laughs> because it's really true. Rose quartz is a bubble bath for the emotions, <laughs> which there's no better way to describe rose quartz, to be honest. On to the spell suggestions. I mentioned this one earlier. It is great to use in meditation. I have mine on my like meditation prayer beads, but you could also just hold a piece while you are meditating. You can place rose quartz around your home to promote harmony. You can use it to attract love by wearing a heart-shaped rose quartz piece. A lot of times you can find the, like various shaped, you know, like carved pieces at jewelry shops and a lot of witchy shops as well. It's a really popular stone. This one's easy to find. Place rose quartz throughout your home and workplace and carry a small piece with you to promote love, relationships, and romance. Wear rose quartz to help ease general aches and pains. Place rose quartz in your bedroom to balance your sex drive. This would be great, especially for partners that have very different drives. Great to help balance the two of you out. Both directions. The rose quartz stone is great for everybody. And lastly, use the energy of rose quartz to soothe and calm yourself. And that is it for this edition in the Creating a Book of Shadows Together today for rose quartz. I will have a blog post of my sources and a written out version of this if you want to copy and paste it. As always, a huge thank you to my patrons. If you want to support me and get access to exclusive content, it is patreon.com slash nightbelowcrafts. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I post every single day. And until next time, thank you so much for watching and blessed be.